Hi everyone, Miss Abby here. I hope that you had a wonderful and relaxing winter break. As you know, just a couple days ago was the new year. And here, a lot of people celebrate the new year on January 1st. And there are a lot of different traditions around celebrating the new year. And this is a book about a tradition around the new year. In this story, the grandmother is teaching her granddaughter how to make a traditional Haitian freedom soup which is made on the new year. And I wanna read a little bit from the um, what it says about this book. It says, Freedom Soup is a celebration of family, of history, and of passing down cultural traditions from one generation to the next. It tells the story of this family, of the Haitian Revolution, uh, and um, it celebrates life. I hope that you had a nice new year and I hope that you're thinking of the traditions that you have in your family. Maybe you got to do some of them this new year. Freedom Soup by Tammy Charles and illustrated by Jacqueline Alcantara. Freedom Soup. They're getting ready. Today is New Year's Day. This year, I get to help make Freedom Soup. Chi Gran says, I've got a heart made for cooking. And it's time I learn how. Outside, snow is piling, cottony thick. Inside, warm, sweet air flows. Haitian compa pours through the speakers. The shake, shake of maracas vibrates down to my toes. Tigran's feet tap, tap to the rhythm. That's this picture of her dancing. We pause our dancing and Tigran says, first bell is the epis. She places the pilon between my knees. Click, clack, click, clack. Together we mash the garlicky herbs to the compa beat. Then we add it to our meat and let it rest. Next is your favorite, the pumpkin. Tigran smiles and pulls it out of the boiling water. Ribbons of steam dance up to the ceiling. She lets me peel the pumpkin. The skin melts off like butter. I can almost smell it. It looks so good. Then Tigran browns the meat in a new pot and gathers the rest of the ingredients. Pumpkin, herbs, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, and celery. Your turn, she says. One by one, I slide the ingredients into the bubbling liquid. The pumpkin-y garlic smell swirls all around us. Know why they call it Freedom Soup? Tigran asks. Because it's free? Yes. Or sorry. It's the same answer I always give. Tigran laughs her loud belly deep laugh. Oh, Belle, nothing in this world is free. Not even freedom. She begins to tell a story. The same one she tells every year a story of the place she was born, Haiti. Long ago, my country was a land of sugarcane and coffee fields, and my people were slaves, working under the fiery sun, growing vegetables, making soup for their masters, soup they were never allowed to eat themselves. Freedom soup was only for the free. No soup for New Year's? My face feels hot. And then what happened? I ask. Here, Tigran is remembering from where she's from. Years passed. The slaves' hands were tired, spirits shattered, blood shed, freedom stolen, pride gone. Enough was enough. It was time to fight and win back their freedom. The trumpet blares. I hear it, Tigran. The revolution is here. The compa beat drums through my skin. I see them, the fire dancing in their eyes as they fight to take back what's theirs. Here they are fighting for their freedom, which they never should have had to fight for. It should have been given to them. It should have never been taken away. I see the colors of freedom, the tan streets of Port-au-Prince, covered in broken black chains, kettles of hot yellow soup, 
a sweet pumpkiny garlic aroma filling the air. I see Tigran's people, my people, eating soup to celebrate the end of slavery, eating soup to celebrate the start of freedom. We clap our hands and sing to the sky. Haiti is free. Freedom soup for everyone. Tigran lowers the flame while I throw in the pasta. My grandmother taught this tradition to my maman, my maman, who taught it to me. I taught it to your mother. And I'll teach it to my children one day. Tigran's dark sky eyes smile as we rest in the living room, and she pulls me in real close and they'll share it with everyone who will come after. That's how traditions are passed down over time, through sharing. The pumpkin garlic smell scents the air as cousins, uncles, and aunts arrive and dance. We share stories of Tigran's faraway island and taste freedom again and again and again. What a lovely soup you made, Belle, they say. I puff out my shoulders wider than the Haitian mountains, stand so tall I can almost touch the moon. All around, just like my family, people gather and share. In our house, we celebrate until the last drop of soup is gone, gone, gone. Here is the recipe for freedom soup and a note from the author about the history of Haiti and enslavement of um, black people in Haiti and also their freedom and the revolution that won their freedom and the history of um, freedom soup. I hope that you enjoyed that book and I wanna know about the traditions that your family has, maybe on New Year's, or maybe another time. Bye.